This year's Prefontaine Classic was insane. Many of the world's greatest athletes returning from the Tokyo Olympics gathered together in Eugene, Oregon to compete at this very fast track. And speaking of fast, the men's 100 meter dash was incredible. In this field, we had nine athletes who have all run well under 10 seconds. However, we also have the returning silver and bronze medalists from this year's Olympics, Fred Curley from the United States and Andre de Grasse from Canada. In the 100 meter final in Tokyo, both Curley and de Grasse dipped well under the 9.9 second barrier. However, also in the 200 meters, de Grasse ran a superb time of 19.62, which currently places him as the eighth fastest athlete in history in this event. With so much talent and Olympic medalists in this field, the finishing time was likely going to be very fast indeed. And just like he did in the Tokyo Games, Andre de Grasse emerged as the unbeatable athlete in this 100 meter race, running an epic time of 9.74 seconds, which currently places him as the fifth fastest athlete ever. Well, it would place him as number five all time, but unfortunately, an illegal tailwind of 2.9 meters per second makes this time ineligible for record considerations. However, regardless of the wind, this was an amazing performance, and he even managed to convincingly outperform the silver medalist in Fred Curley, who did manage to run a very fast time as well, finishing in 9.78 seconds. Finishing in third was Ronnie Baker in 9.82, finishing in fourth was Trayvon Bromel in 9.86, and finishing in fifth was Michael Norman in 9.90 seconds. This was yet another fantastic race from Andre de Grasse, and after his Olympic performance and this 100 meter victory, it's difficult not to say that he's the new fastest human being on the planet. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.